What's up everybody, it's Matt Karma, and in this video, what I'm gonna be sharing with you is how to stop binge eating. Just know that when I share this whole entire video, that I'm not trying to understand intellectually how it feels to be in a binge eating place and to be in that pattern. I know how that feels on such a deep level. I know that for so many of you, a big percentage of you, you were just binge eating and then you came to this video trying to find a solution. If that was you, then right now you're probably feeling like shit because you did it again and you've been trying and trying and trying and nothing seems to be working and then you found me on this video. There is no accidents. I'm a big believer in divine timing, so make sure that you sit back if this is you and really start to let the information I'm gonna be sharing with you land. If you're someone who's already subscribed and you're struggling with this but you haven't binged it, then still let this information land because it's going to prevent you from doing it in the future. This process that I'm going to be sharing with you isn't easy. And this is just something that helped me. If you're looking for like this quick fix and then over 20 seconds, you're never gonna binge it for the rest of your life, I cannot promise that. But what I can promise you, if you keep doing what I'm gonna be sharing with you, the binge eating will be released from your life. To rewind you back to my binge eating patterns, I remember times where I would feel so much emotion of stress and anger and frustration with just my business that I was doing and me trying to make things happen but nothing seems to be working out and my way of feeling comfort in that moment was by turning to food. It wasn't just me reaching for one chip packet and then that was it. No, like I would, if, for those of you who are in Australia, you know of what Coles and Woolworths is, I would go to this supermarket and I would get two, this is when I wasn't vegan, I would go into Coles and Woolworths and I would get two big Cadbury chocolates. I'd get that, then I'd get this massive Smith's uh, chip packet and just eat all of that. And then I'd have a big 1.25 liter of vanilla Coke and then I'd have that. And then I'd have popcorn ready to go home and then watch a movie and just numb myself from this and distract myself from whatever it was that I was feeling. And this was something that I'd do again and again and again. And then the next day, I'd, I'd carry those emotions that I was feeling to the next day. And then for lunchtime, I'd go to Hungry Jack's and just go crazy spending all of my money on all this food. And then I'd wake up feeling like shit because I felt like I gained all this weight, so the way that I would numb myself from feeling like this was to turn to more food, and it happened again and again and again. And then I overcame that, but it came back. So 16 weeks ago, some of you guys have seen my transformation. I gained uh, nine to 10 kilograms, I think it was nine kilograms, in a space of about two months. And a big part of that was because I was binge eating. And I feel now in a space of just total freedom because I know that when that stuff does come up, I now have tools to be able to prevent me from going into that binge eating pattern. And I've released the cause of why I was turning to binge eating. Because I'm not just gonna be sharing with you certain tools and tactics, I am gonna be sharing with you, with you that, but I'm gonna be showing you how to get to the root cause of why you may be binge eating. And I really want you to let this land. Binge eating is not the problem. Binge eating is the solution to the actual problem that is going on. Let that sink in. Binge eating isn't the problem. It is the solution. The real problem that you may be facing is emotion that is constantly coming up and you keep falling into that pattern of feeling stressed, of feeling depressed, of feeling anger, of feeling anxiety, and your way of dealing with that is going into the solution which is food, which is binge eating. Because when you binge eat, you get comfortable. You suppress the emotions. You avoid the emotions. Binge eating is the solution. So what, what I'm gonna be sharing with you in this video is how do you get to the cause? Me just imagining you actually doing this work is so damn powerful because I know what's on the other side and I just feel so compassionate to you guys because I know how fucking hard it is when you are binge eating and you feel like you just can't get out. The way that I stopped binge eating and I was able to lose uh, 10 kilograms in a space of 16 weeks and feel totally in control of this, first, understand the fan model. So this is something that I've created because I've, I've worked with hundreds and hundreds of people and probably even thousands now and just had interaction with them on a one-to-one -one level. And me just finding out patterns within them and within myself, I realized that whenever an emotion comes up, there are three things that you can do. And I call it the FAN model. So F-A-N, it all stands for something, right? It's an acronym. So let me go into N because if I start with N, I'm going to go in reverse order of what people normally go to whenever they feel this emotion. So N, N stands for numb, right? So whenever any emotion comes up, you can numb yourself. 
and how you numb yourself for people watching this video is through food, is through some type of fluid. And what happens is you feel so out of control that you have a little piece of food and that little piece of food turns into more and then more and then more and then more. And the reason why you keep doing that is because you are perceiving that the more food that you have, the more that you can numb yourself from the emotions that you are feeling. A stands for avoid forward slash distract. So the way that I did this, and usually there is a combination. You don't just have food alone. You can avoid or distract yourself. So. For me, it was me going into my car to avoid anyone and everyone and I would go into this little space down in, in this netball courts where I used to live like close nearby and it would be dark and I will just have no one around me and I can just eat my emotions away. Or I would combine me numbing myself with a movie. That was usually my combination, numbing myself with some type of distraction which was a movie. And then F, this is the thing from my interactions out of every 100 people that I've worked with, only one to two people, so one to two percent will actually do this. Out of everyone watching this video, for every thousand people who watch this video, probably 10 of you are actually going to do this. And my hope is that if I can get 50% of every single thousand people to watch this, to actually do this, holy moly, there would be some transformation because it is scary to do F. It is not easy. But on the other side of this is that emotional freedom, is freedom from binge eating. And F stands for facing off. Facing off with, with, with whatever it is that you are numbing yourself from and what, with whatever it is that you are avoiding or distracting yourself from. Facing off can be ambiguous. What does that actually mean? Facing off is kind of like this. Let's say that you have a monster here, right? And this emotion represents the emotion that you're running away from or you're numbing yourself from. So most people will turn the other way and they'll either just run the other way, not looking back at what it is that they're running away from. But facing off is turning around. And let's say that this is the monster here, looking at the monster straight in the face and saying, I am sick and tired of running from you. I have been running from you my whole entire life. This scares me right now to look at you face to face. And I'm feeling really nervous right now because this is the first time that I'm looking at what I've been running away from for so damn long. And it scares me because I don't want to re-experience this pain again. And when you face off with whatever it is that you've been running away from, with whatever it is that you've been numbing, your, numbing yourself from, emotion comes up, anger might come up. And before I show you how do you actually face off with yourself, I need you to understand this. Avoiding, distracting, and numbing all creates short-term pleasure, but long-term pain. Short-term pleasure, long-term pain. You go and have food, you go and numb yourself, you feel comfortable. But you still haven't dealt with what is actually the cause of you constantly going to binge eat. Facing off is short term pain, but long term pleasure. And, short, and that pain is, for some people, if you haven't faced off with yourself for, for forever, it's going to be high levels of pain. But, but with facing off with yourself and allowing those emotions to come up, it is going to create long term pleasure. How do you actually do this? There are multiple ways to do this. Some ways there is breath work, some ways there is just meditating, some ways there is just allowing yourself to cry. There is a getting a pillow and doing a primal scream where you scream at the top of your lungs. If you're feeling this anger within you, then getting yourself walking around the room. So this is something that I do. Walking around the room, playing some music to get myself in the emotional state to let out that anger. And then thinking about, so for me, it was thinking about the bullies that, so for those of you who don't know, I was bullied as a kid. And I had all this stored emotion of anger that I had no idea was there that I needed to let out. And I went through a process at a workshop where I released a lot of anger, but I still felt like I was holding on to some. So I would walk around my room, play some music that would just get me into that rage, and then I would scream at the top of my lungs into a pillow because there was people in the other room. And after that, I felt this clearing. And that was one of the processes that I do to lose that 10 kilograms within that 16 week period, right? Other things that I did, I just sat down and I felt with I felt whatever it was that I needed to feel. Another thing that I did is whenever I felt the urge to go and reach for food, instead of me knowing myself to usually I'll go to the takeaway store and get hot chips, that was my thing. Instead, what I did, I made the conscious decision to face off with that monster, to say, no more. I'm sick and tired of running from you. I'm sick and tired of knowing myself from seeing you. This is the time where I just sit down and this is what I did. I was on my bed. I got into a meditation position 
but I wasn't doing the meditation where you just concentrate on something because sometimes meditation can be a distraction because you're just concentrating on something else but you're distracting yourself from facing off with what is the emotion that you're running away from. So I would sit down and what I would do is I would cry. I would reassociate to what it was that I was running away from and I would just allow myself to feel whatever I was feeling. A lot of it was tears. A lot of it was because of an ex-girlfriend. A lot of it was because of so many shit that happened as a child that I just needed to allow myself to feel those emotions. And as I cleared out the emotions, I cleared out the habit and the urge to go and reach for food whenever that emotion came out. Because we are in and out beings. We drink, we piss. We eat, we shit. We breathe in, we exhale. We feel emotions. A lot of people, they will hold on to their breath. And as we hold on to our breath, we hold on to our emotions and we suppress it. Some people hold on to the emotions not just through breath, but through, but through food. And the reason why you keep turning to that food is because you haven't allowed yourself to complete the process of that emotion. For some of you guys, you may not know what you are running away from. You may not know what you are numbing yourself from. And it is so important to become aware of what that thing is. Because you cannot intervene in a world that you cannot see. So. What I like to do is to bring awareness to whatever it is that I need to release is I will talk to myself like I'm in a relationship with myself, which I am. Because the very first breath that we have on this earth, we are instantly in a relationship with ourselves. And if let's say that you're in a relationship, right? And let's say that you're a dude, because this is usually how it goes. Big generalization, but stay with me. Let's say that you're in a relationship. And Betty over here, and this is John. And Betty is complaining. Betty's like, John, you never listen to me. Like, I'm with you, but I'm, I, don't feel, I don't feel your presence. John may be going like, what do you mean? I'm always with you. I'm watching movies with you. And Betty may be saying, well, yes, you're with me, but you don't talk to me. You don't ask me questions. You don't see how I'm really going. And when, I, and when you do ask that, you're, you're not present. You're not truly listening to me. What I like to do is I'm imagining, excuse the noise in the backgrounds, but what I will say to myself is, Matt, what's going on? Are we closing my eyes? The other day I was in the shower and I was hugging myself and I was saying this, Matt, what's going on with, what's going on with you right now? Like, why are you feeling this emotion? Why is it that you feel the urge to go and reach for food right now? What are you wanting to numb yourself from? What are you wanting to avoid? What are you wanting to avoid right now? What's really going on? Why is this emotion coming up? and allow the answer to come up from your body or from your subconscious mind, shift will start to happen. You will allow, first thing, you get awareness. Oh, I've been holding on to this thought of uh, my ex-girlfriend. Oh, I've been coming up, I've been holding on to this thought or emotion around my dad. Oh, I've been, and you get the point. And then, you just reassociate to that memory. Allow yourself to feel whatever you're feeling. At first, for some of you who have never done this, it's not going to just be like magic and emotions is, coming, is just going to come out naturally. Some of you guys, even when you talk to your body, talk to yourself, it's going to be like a walkie-talkie, right? That's out of range. And you're going to be going, so what is it that you're running away from? And your body's going to be trying to tell you answers, but it's going to be like this. You know how walkie-talkie is out of range? It's going to sound like that. You're not really going to hear it. But then with practice, and as you keep connecting to yourself, with each time that you ask yourself questions, with each time that you be with yourself and ask yourself those empowering questions, you get closer and closer and closer. And now those two walkie-talkies are now in range. And now when you ask yourself questions, your body and your subconscious mind is going to tell you those answers and it's going to be so easy to hear because you're now in range. You are in harmony. So, to summarize this video, remember, the fan model. There are three things that you can do whenever you feel an emotion. F, you can face off with yourself. That one to 2% of people do. So you can either be like 98% of people or you can be in the 2% and truly face off with yourself to allow yourself to feel those emotions. And as you, as you allow those emotions to come out, the binge eating pattern will be released. A, you can avoid, you can distract yourself. You can scroll through Facebook, you can, num you can distract yourself through watching countless YouTube videos of cat videos and panda videos of falling down and just random shit. Or, you can go to F. And N, you can numb yourself, which is through food or through some type of fluid. Do F, face off with yourself. And how you face off with yourself is number one, become aware. Because you cannot intervene in a world that you cannot see. And how you become aware is by asking yourself questions. 
And then as you become aware of what it is that you need to experience, what it is that you need to let yourself, what it is that you need to let yourself feel, number two, then what I want you to do is let yourself feel those emotions. Experience those emotions because we need to complete the process of those emotions to finally feel free. And it is scary, it is hard, but it is so damn rewarding. My action for you is to do this straight after you watch this video. Get a safe space, lean up against the wall if you need to, put on some music, maybe some sad music because music can be so healing, music can allow yourself to feel those emotions on an even deeper level and it can bring out those emotions even easier. And do what I just mentioned, do this daily or do this whenever you get triggered, whenever some type of emotion comes up, go straight to this process and feel whatever you're feeling and be with yourself. I love every single one of you guys, please do this and leave a comment down below what, uh, let me, letting me know what you thought of this video and also when you go through this process of being with yourself and allowing yourself to feel, please come back to this video and share whatever you felt so when other people watch this, they can get an idea of what happens when they do this process.